Hey, this is Lucky Robin, and this is the update for the French Biointensive Organic Rice Bed Garden. The kohlrabi is doing very well. The chickens got in here, unfortunately, and they dug up some of the, the ones that I planted from seed and ate one of them, so there's only two here that I was able to salvage. And they dug up all of my radishes except for this one. They happened to leave two that they didn't eat. So I'm hoping these will make it, but I'm not very hopeful on that because radishes do not like to be disturbed. I planted uh, the rest of the row back in and two more rows in this area. And um, they ate the two things I planted in the empty section there and they gnawed on some of the lettuce as well. I've got this uh, thing in place here to keep them, if they get out again, keep them from doing that. The broccoli's really taking off here. Purple basil, I don't think it's gonna do much more. It's uh, starting to flower and pulling it back from flowering. Uh, well, since this one doesn't grow like the sweet basil grows, it's not worth it to me. Still been picking a few strawberries from in here. Okay, I've now harvested um, all of the yellow onions and the shallots out of this bed. And I've built that side of the bed back up. I need to bring more compost up for this side. The calendula is doing pretty good. I've got um, a few small ones coming up and then there's a couple bigger ones that are getting ready to bloom. The echinacea is really blooming. The uh, yarrow, I need to come in and clear out the dead ones and uh, get this watered really well. It's suffered a bit in the weather conditions the last few days because we've had, well, we've had mostly 80s all summer, but it's been in the 90s for the past couple days, and that's really hard on the flowers, the herbs, uh, well, the herbal tea flowers, rather. I'm going to um, harvest these potatoes today. Hopefully, I'll get a good yield. Sorrel's still doing great, even though it's gone to seed. I'm still harvesting plenty off of it, but I just give it to the birds so it doesn't really make it into the harvest videos. Okay, the onions have come out of the far side of the bed, but I still have the red onions in here. I'll be pulling them in the next couple of days. And I haven't decided for sure whether I'm gonna pull the parsnips out early or not. There's only four of them. Maybe three, I'm not sure. Um, the squirrels messed that up so badly at the beginning of the year. And if I don't pull them out, I'm gonna have to leave a trench down the middle when I add soil to this side for my winter planting. Uh, I'll go to the other side and show you what I've replanted. Oh, the herbs in here are still trekking along, still harvesting uh, sage and golden marjoram, some parsley, though it's going to seed, and um, thyme. So I cut this hip of hyssop back. I'm hoping I'll get another set of flowers. I still need to cut this set of hyssop back. This vining flower that I planted on the end is doing a lot better now that the peas are out. It's really thriving. I did have to untangle quite a few of the vines from the peas though. They wanted to grow up the pea trellis and not up their own. All right, so over here I have broccoli. I have to get water on it. Uh, chickens got in here too. 
and dug a couple of these up and I've got them back in but they're wilting so I got to get more water on them. I did water it this morning but it's like 93 right now and it's not supposed to be this hot at this time of year in this place. It's just not. So, wait, is I right on that? No, this isn't broccoli. This is lacinato kale. Planted that for the rabbits for the winter. And then this is the broccoli. And then I planted some more lettuce because the slug's kind of annihilated the other, and it's not liking the weather either but I'm starting to get some growth from the center so I think most of them are gonna be okay maybe I'll be lucky in the all well and some more kale um, I I think this is Siberian kale I'm not sure it's such it just says heirloom kale on the tag but it looks like the Siberian kale that I got earlier in the year. I've been getting a lot of peppers in the last couple of days. Um, some poblanos, some anaheims, and some half red and half green bell peppers. I just didn't want to leave them because they were they had some spots on them where they'd been pecked by birds or something and that always they always end up deteriorating really badly before they turn completely red if I don't get them in so I'll get them in and chop them up and freeze them this afternoon the some of the orange snacking peppers are starting to turn color This uh, Anaheim is starting to turn color. So I like to let them turn color when I can so that I then have a mix of the immature green and the red. Red will be hotter in most cases. That's a little cucumbers coming on. There's a couple big ones in here too. Then I need to get picked. A cantaloupe. Still up my big one down here. Come on, let's get out of the way. And then um, there's a little one starting right there. might go I, oh there's the other one that's definitely going in I think there was a third one but I don't see it I'm not gonna spend a terrible amount of time looking now I had completely planted this open area in bright light Swiss shard and the birds got or the chicken when the chickens got out they got in here and they dug it all up and made huge wallows and so, uh, maybe a couple of them will make it, but I am not holding my breath. So, um, I've got to go get the covers back out of storage to put over this, and then I'll replant it again in chard. And if those stupid birds only knew that I had planted this for them so that they would have greens this winter, Maybe they wouldn't have done that. You know, they probably still would have because chickens are not that smart. All right, the black crim tomatoes starting to ripen. Ah, sorry, bug landed on me. Um, didn't mean to jerk the camera. Still haven't gotten any yellow ones off that. I'm still waiting on the million pears. I've only gotten one. Oh, hey, there's one right behind that lovely spider. There's one that's almost completely yellow. Ah, I had a lot of spiders out here. 
Okay, make sure that's not on the web. That goes across. Get around it. So it's not in my face. Okay, so these ones that were supposed to be alpaca but are not are eh, there's a few tomatoes on there. I don't think I'm gonna get much yield off that plant. Unfortunately, um, well, that doesn't look good. Got some rot on the end of this tomato, so it has to go. <laughs> oh my goodness, look! I have one that's ripening. Oh, it's rotten on the end, though. Talk on it. Yeah, I guess you birds can have that one too. I'm not seeing it on more than those two. Well, there's one more. Oh, that was very unfortunate. I didn't think this had blossom end rot at all, but maybe it does. Or maybe it's just on those few and hopefully it won't infect the whole plant. But if I see it's infecting the whole plant, I'm gonna pull it out. I'm not going to deal with that. Okay, so I also planted more lettuce in here, but the birds got in there. Are they going to come back or not? I don't know. They didn't completely fresh it, but I don't think, unless I'm very lucky, it's going to come back. And they got, um, all of the spinach I planted in here as well. So they're all in the doghouse. I am not happy with any of them. I need to come out here and finish harvesting the hyssop, cut it down and hope for another set of flowers. I need to harvest the basil again. And the sturtiums are doing wonderfully well. Brussels sprouts are continuing to grow. I always say Brussels sprouts. I try to say sprouts, but after Brussels, it just comes out wrong. I still haven't seen any tomatoes forming on this plant. That's definitely not a variety I would encourage my mother to get again in the future. All right, the leaves on this are really, really bad, but it doesn't seem to be hindering the growth of the zucchini. I'm still getting good zucchini most of the time. Still getting a little bit with blossom end rot on occasion, but not very much. I picked up the uh, crick neck and put it back in the bed. in there and then there's some yellow zucchini I'm waiting for it to just a little bit bigger and anyway that is the update for this garden for this week